Okay, I want to give you guys this video real quick, and I hope you guys appreciate it real quick. I'm just going to do a reaction test just from the PC side point right, real quick, okay? I'm just going to do the, the reaction test. And they said most people had like a, what, a 71% or something like that, they said. Um, and then we'll get into this video, and I hope you guys enjoy. And it is a little bit longer, but I do make fun of some of this stuff, and I do crack uh, jokes about it. But this is all running um, on literally a 240 uh hurt monitor free sync so um and yes i don't got the best mouse and i don't got the best stuff but we're gonna try it out Wow. My reaction time was 79%. Hmm. Game over 86 coming back with a funny, oh, great video. I'm sorry. I was literally, I was literally actually in tears earlier. And I know I normally don't take my glasses off. And man, I haven't been able to sleep for a while. I was reading this story. <laughs> I was reading this story on LG. Um, you know, life's good and all that other stuff you know the companies that make tvs and everything and uh they make fridges and shit like that and all kinds of stuff and i was reading that they did a study that <laughs> Woo! i love doing videos like this because it gets them hot it gets them fired up but i'm gonna speak some truth this is where game over 86 is gonna speak some truth to you know this 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 billion dollar company possibly in LG I don't know if they're worth that anyway um, I know the people that came up with this research plan <laughs> wow I've said this before if you want to throw money just away throw it to me okay if you want to just pay somebody just pay me and I'll do the videos I'll do the research I'll say and speak the truth but they. They stated that Xbox gamers are better than PS4 and PC, according to LG's complete scientific research of 1,400 people. So let's go ahead and get right into this video, because I know you guys want to hear me talk about this. Now I am, during this video, I am going to crack some jokes, but I am going to speak some truth, okay? Out of the 1,400 people, did they have like, I don't know, I would say maybe 1,000 Xbox fans... The other 300 were PS4 fans, and then they got 100 PC fans. <laughs> 1,400 people. Literally, that's like me saying McDonald's is better than Burger King because I had 100 people say that McDonald's is better than Burger King. Wow. Just, I'm, I mean, fuck, video's done, I guess. <laughs> like, Jesus. Oh, okay. Okay. I see a lot of things. We're going to read a couple quotes so you guys notice that it ain't me, okay? I ain't speaking this garbage. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. Anyway, let me go ahead and throw the first one up there. Okay, it says, a new piece of research from technology's giant, LG, <laughs> that must surely be designed to create a massive war of words between between pretty much all gamers online has supposedly settled the debate of who really are the better gamers. Now, now I'm going to take this down real quick. Um, the better gamers, okay, first and foremost, there is no such thing as a better gamer. There's a, there's an, there's a, there's a casual gamer. There's a, there's a pro gamer. They get paid and the average gamer is just like all of us that just plays games at, and doesn't really get paid. <clears throat> I'm still waiting on pay. <laughs> anyway, uh, so let me pop that back up. Um, <clears throat> is this PlayStation, Xbox, or PC? Oh, no Nintendo. F Bye, Nintendo fans. If you guys were waiting to see, that's... Yeah, they don't... I guess they don't really think you guys are gamers. I didn't say it. That's just what LG thought. It's probably because they don't consider any of them first-person... Or, excuse me, first-party Nintendo titles to be really you know competitive i mean they just released super uh mario brothers wii u you guys uh oh deluxe my bad go check that out for 20 bucks on the wii u i mean 60 dollars on the switch i apologize i apologize it's a five hour game and you'll love it because it has the same shit it has on the wii u anyway let's get back into it 
Sorry, Nintendo fans. Oh, yeah, I, I already talked about it. Um, don't care about that. Anyway, according to LG's press release, a new research shows that console gamers, specifically those on Xbox, are the kings of gaming circles. Yeah, circle jerks, probably. Superior, supposedly, to their PlayStation counterparts and those on PC. Now, now I'm going to lower it again. Now, 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 was it a real test? Because most people that play Xbox games, I've always noticed, play on PC. <laughs> because why would you buy an Xbox X to play the PC games or play Xbox One games when you can just play them on your PC? <laughs> Were they really doing their studies? I, that's all I had to say. I'm just sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Okay. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay. The same press release from LG in partnership with Activision goes on. Oh, well that hold on, hold on. That tells me right there, guys, that's not believable. <laughs> the partnership with Activision. Yeah, I'm gonna believe whatever the LG says now. LG, you just lost a shitload of customers. Here's LG stock. It's like that. Remember, remember that that movie or the uh <laughs> Price is fucking right. Lolly, lolly, lolly. Woo! <laughs> That's LG stock in another month and a half. Don't ever put Activision on with your shit. Otherwise, people are like, ha <laughs> well, no, that's full of shit. All right. Sorry, guys. I, I apologize for all this. Anyway, <clears throat> they go on to suggest that a study found console gamers, predominantly on Xbox, have better reaction ability than PC gamers. And they, 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 I, I, I mean, I think they, the other people added that really, um, which is, which is funny. More than 1400 gamers participated in LG's elite reaction test created in partnership with Activision. The press release explained PC gamers happen to fare the worst with the average reaction accuracy of 67.7% compared to Xbox players who had an average of 77.1%. Wow. What were you guys playing on? A 65-inch fucking TV? <laughs> you know, with, uh, I don't know, latency and lag and, you know, frame issues and delay. <laughs> Most PC people play on a 24-inch to I would say around 32 inch. I'd say right around that. Most people like 24 to 27 inch monitors. This is the truth. And a lot of people play on 144 hertz. Is the is the is the main PC market? Um, FreeSync or uh, 240 Pro Hertz G Sync. Um, now I have a 240 Pro Hertz um, Alienware um, FreeSync, not G Sync. Um, but uh, there is a big difference if they're playing, and I don't know if they were playing on a 65 inch LG, but I do know that that's why PC players don't play on TVs because there's normally five to seven millisecond, uh, you know, response time. So that is one thing that's already been proven. It's, it's better to game on a monitor. Even if you hook up the PlayStation, um, uh, four, even though the PlayStation four can only do 60 frames, max and the Xbox one can only do 60 frames. Your TV is 120 frames. That's the highest hertz. So when you see hertz, every hertz is a frame for people that didn't know that. Um, so when you see a TV that's a 60 hertz or a 120 hertz, that means technically it can push 120 frames. It's more or less like TV shows. It's not video games, consoles wise, because consoles haven't been able to break 60 frames forever. I don't, I don't even think they can ever break 60 frames until next gen, possibly with a higher GPU and CPU and a processor, everything combined, everything running, threads, cores, you name it. Um, a lot of stuff goes into uh, making it push that much. So <clears throat> uh, I don't know if they did all the studies on here. This is where I got to crack a joke. LG, if you're having PC players play on a 65-inch TV with Xbox One X players, and PS4 players. Now, I'm not taking their side. I can see why um, the keyboard and mouse may have a different, um, you know, relay, uh, you know, uh, pretty much focusing on reaction time because they're used to playing on a monitor. Now, I'm not saying LG makes monitors too. I don't know if they hooked them all up to monitors or what, but uh, that's already been debunked. I can honestly tell you that, but let's finish up and I'll, and I'll talk about it later on. Okay, so PC gamers happen to further worse. Okay, we already read that part. We in taking the test, users were required to click on targets 
that fade from green to red as quickly as possible to help increase the score. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, it says over re overall reaction scores produced from the test show console gamers to have the best reaction or twitchiness. The Xbox gamers have an average reaction score of 79.7% and PlayStation gamers with 71.9% and PC gamers have the lowest average reaction score with 62 Now this is where I go back, where they playing on a big screen TV. Um, and, and, and the other thing can... And, can lead into that. What were what what game were they all testing this on? I mean, they say that they were clicking on targets and these red targets. It's been debunked and it's been proven that your hand naturally sets like this on a mouse and you can move the mouse a lot quicker than you can with thumbsticks to that specific spot. That's why people use a mouse uh, competitively on PC. Um, and I'm not saying I always use a mouse. I do on certain games. And I use a controller on certain games as well. It's just comfortability depending on what you want to play. But I guarantee th they proved this thing a long time ago. I believe, I can't remember the game. So if I, I'm just using this example because I can't remember quote for quote. But they, they took the best console gamers and put them uh, like Overwatch or something like that. We'll just use Overwatch. But there, it, this is a real test and I, I don't know where it's at. You guys will have to Google it. But this has been proven. They take the top elite best team. Okay, like an like an esports team um, of Overwatch. Okay, or 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 it was something crazy like Dota or something. And they took PC pro gamers that's never even played that game that these guys have played, and these other people on consoles were were pros. Okay, they were the best at this game, and they took these PC players that were pros too, but never played that type of game, that game at all. And they went in there, and the PC guys mopped the fucking floor with them. I'm not saying, I'm not bragging, I'm not saying, oh, yeah, but all I'm saying is you're comparing, uh, LG seems like they're getting paid, this must be a market, I'm not, I'm not saying that they are, by PlayStation and Xbox, um, which is, which is fine, if they want to stir the pot, but, uh, the, the majority of people that aren't dumb as shit, or fanboys, or propaganda channels, are gonna know this is total bullshit, I, I have to make this video, and I have to read it all, because I want to crack jokes at it, because it's funny, I mean, there's not a lot of dumb shits that make, uh, you know, kind of big names like LG that's going to make um, <laughs> fucking stupid ass shit like this. Anyway, um, okay, so in terms of numbers target hit, Xbox gamers led the way with 78%. Why is it in red? Like, they want us to read it better. Of clicks on target. Of clicks on target, excuse me. PlayStation gamers hit 74%, while PC gamers hit 70% uh, of the time. Although PC gamers hit fewer targets than their console counterparts, they were, however, the quickest to react with almost 1 in 5. 18% of the targets being hit green. Now, they say PC gamers hit 70% of the time. Now, this is where I still think to myself, um, it's total bullshit. And I and this is where I see the lie. And it's funny they put it in quote and I'm glad they did. Um first off, you can that's the reason why hold on. That's the reason why they're making elite controllers and scuff controllers. This is I'm gonna prove them wrong. And you guys can subscribe to me if you want, if you haven't already. Because I'm going to speak some truth. And I know people out there love me. And I know people out there hate me. But I'm going to be real with you. The reason why they make the Xbox One Elite controllers. And the PlayStation 4 console scuff controllers. Or Elite controllers. Whatever you want to call them. Is because they're trying to keep the player. From taking their thumbs off of the joysticks. That's why they have the things on the back. Okay. When I play with a keyboard. And I'm going to move the camera for just a second. Okay. I want you guys to see this. Right here, I do not move my hand off of these keys, okay? I don't move my hand off this mouse, ever, when I'm playing. It's all set up the way I like it. Wow, I knocked over that. You punk. Anyway, guys, the point I'm saying is for them to st sit there and state that they hit more, that's, that's a bullshit lie. Razer just signed a deal with Xbox, okay? And it's got keyboard and mouse. Why is that? 
Is it because they want their PC gamers to feel so comfortable playing their new Xbox games? No, it's because they know that a lot of people that are playing their Xbox games are more on PC now than they are on console. So people, they're trying to sell to that market just keyboards for people that are jumping to PC. That's a fact, by the way. Okay, um... So, and then it says, compared to Xbox players who only hit 9% of the targets while they were green, this meant that while PC gamers were less accurate overall, they did seem to have an itchier trigger finger. That's because the mouse moves quicker than your thumb on a joystick. There, there, there's reaction settings. See, this is what people forget, okay? When you play on PC, you can change everything. The speed of your mouse, the movement of your mouse. Um... A lot of the console gamers have, like, an access to where, uh, yes, it's a whole joystick, but th they don't have that 360 access to where they can just zip down across at, a, like, a sharp angle and rotate back over is quick, is, is what people think. Um, there's, there's just response buttons, keyboards. There's mechanical key keys out there that have, like, 1. Millisec 0.1 millisecond, I mean 1 millisecond of response time. Um, quicker than if you push it on a button through your controller, and then the controller has to go through your big-ass TV, and then it has to wait for the relay. I mean, that's, that's why. That's the biggest key right there. Were they playing on a TV? If they were, there could be a delay between the keyboard and mouse with their TV, and most console players, fact, uh, play on a bigger TV because they try to sell 4K like it's something so great. When most PC players, on average, most of them play on a 1080p at 144 frames. Hertz, whatever you want to call it. That's a fact. Most PC players don't really care about graphics because they normally have a PC powerful enough to push graphics as far as they want. The thing they care about is response time, um, they 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 just want a great game. They don't have to worry about all the other bullshit that goes on to it. You buy a mouse and a keyboard, and you're set. You don't need 14 different variations of controllers. Microsoft, PlayStation, Nintendo. Sorry, I'm not one to take this long, but it is kind of funny. David Hall, marketing manager at LG, <coughs> commented on the results, saying um, the reaction times of consoles versus PC gamers has been on point has been a point, excuse me, of conversation for years, so we decided to put them to the test. Yeah, that don't mean that your test is right with four hundred or 1,400 people. And uh, if you're a marketer, marketing manager, or runner, <clears throat> I'm going to be real. You're an idiot. I mean, you're an idiot from, I'm a console gamer and a PC gamer. You're an idiot. I can tell you that right now. Tell you that right now. Anyway, while PC gamers are perhaps traditionally seen as more twitchy, the LG Elite Reaction Test, aka not as good as, uh, you know, Asus, Bear, um, or BenQ, Alienware, any of them Elite <clears throat> monitors that people use. Uh, Acer Terminators are pretty good too. Anyway, <clears throat> they forgot to mention that. Um, the LG Elite Reaction Test turned this on its head as from nearly 2,000 people we've seen the console gamers manage to hit more targets than PC gamers however delving uh, delving a little deeper and it's not all bad news for PC gaming uh, aff aficionados <laughs> aficionados is what it's really saying <laughs> Anyway, our analysis showed that actually, uh, they actually performed well with reaction time. Well, no shit. They're used to quicker response times anyway. Being twice as good as the Xbox players. They just weren't as accurate overall. Which, that's where I say, were they playing on a TV that has, like, they can see it and they boom, go right there. Like, move the mouse, boom, right there. But, then again, if it's a delay and they click, it's not really there yet. That's why their accuracy wasn't there. They click on it, but they beat it to the click because they're quicker on reaction, but there's a lag delay. See, people wonder why when you play console games and you're playing on big screen TV and you get shot and you're like, but I'm behind the corner. That's because there's a delay there. Okay? I've played people on PC games, same games that you can play on console, and um, and, and sometimes you play players that are on TVs, and they always ask, they said to me one time, hey, man, how'd you get me? I seen you around the corner three or four seconds or seconds, 
milliseconds before your TV acknowledged you were around the corner. Like, and th and that's where it comes to tick, 60 tick servers, 30 tick servers. Most consoles, most consoles, uh, games and servers run on a 30 tick server, which isn't the best. And, and then most PC gamers, uh, their servers are at least 60 tick servers. So, um, the ping and everything like that's a lot different and the response and refresh times way better. Okay. So no matter how you choose to play, we're dedicated to creating the best gaming experience we can. No matter how you choose to play, we're dedicated to creating the best gaming experience we can. Well, first off, all your with our range of low latency, I like how they said low latency, 4K HDR gaming TVs. Okay, okay, here it is. Designed to do games justice. Okay, this is what they're trying to do. Um, let me let me talk about this real quick, and I'm sorry to jump back and forth on, on the things, and I apologize, but I'm going to be real with you. So they were all on TVs for my, I'm going with that. They were all on TVs. They're trying to sell their 4K HDR TVs. I mean, CES was just recently. Obviously, they're just trying to get some notable, you know, some people hotheads or people out there go, see, I told you Xbox gamers were the best gamers ever. I mean, there's going to be that crowd. There's going to be PlayStation 4 people up in airs, but her or whatever. And there's going to be PC people laughing their asses off as well. Um, but think about this, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this up one more time real quick. Hang on. Um, let, me, let me finish reading. It's hard to tell how serious the study is meant to be, but LG says you can find out your own reaction score using their LG Elite Reaction Test. Oh, okay. Website link, which is supposedly created um, for the launch of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Anytime. And I'm going to say this. I want to do that test on my 240 Pro Hertz. Okay, and I want to do it. I want to do it on my monitor with the keyboard mouse. Then I'm going to do it on a TV. Okay, and I have a Vizio 65 inch 4K HDR TV in there, which is made by Samsung for people that didn't know. And I'm going to play it with my Xbox, my PS4, and I bet you a hundred dollars. Man, I shouldn't even bet really because gambling, you know, ain't my thing. But I bet that it's not even close. It's not even fucking close. Okay. But, um, they, oh yeah, and they, and which is supposedly created for the launch of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Yeah, because that game's so great. See, look at this. This tells you right here. They, them and Activision. Well, Activision owns Call of Duty. Like, of course they're trying to sell you on a game, sell you on their TVs. While trying to get people emotionally butthurt. It's not me mad. I'm actually having fun talking about this. Uh, alternatively, whoa, I said that wrong. Alternatively. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, my words are all fucked right now, guys. Make fun of me down in the comments. He's illiterate. I'm unsubscribing. We could suggest that everyone submits this article to Reddit and replies to every angry response it gets to see how fast the reactions really are. <laughs> we're willing to bet you'll fare bet. Uh, we'll f we're willing to bet you'll fare best on PC. Wow. And see, it, LG. For as good as you guys are with your products, and I believe you guys do have some good products, Samsung owns you in phones. They own you in TVs. Let's be real. Sharp used to own everybody. Sony does a really decent job, too. Um, I mean, Samsung's so big. They made a second-rate TV in Vizio, and Vizio used to be, like, the number one selling TV every year. And people can say, well, the price. The quality's pretty damn good, if you ask me. Um and when they did this, and I and I, and this is where I cracked the joke, really, like, you're going to sit there and try to convince these people. And there's a lot of people that are misguided in this world. And I want to tell you guys, I'm glad that I made this channel. I'm glad that I'm here talking about this. But when I see shit like this, I laugh. And I had to talk about it. I had to talk a little bit about the story behind it. If you guys want to Google it and fact check me, you can. But it's been proven that keyboard and mouse is the best way um, to game. It, it's not my opinion. I'm just saying that's a fact proven. It's faster, more response for competitive gaming. Now, not everybody's going to say, oh, well, I would rather play with a keyboard and mouse than a controller. That's not the case I'm trying to point and prove. What I'm saying is if you think you're going to get on there with an Xbox One controller and you're going to play somebody on a, on, let's just say Counter-Strike, they will slap the fucking floor. They will mop the floor with your ass. Like, it's not even close. I'm not even going to get into that debate. Anybody says, oh, you're wrong, game of... You are delusional. Okay? Do not, do not even try to go down that route of the Xbox One controller or this one's more... 
No, there's a reason why they're bringing keyboards and there's a reason why they're making elite controllers and scuff controllers. It's because the gamers don't want to take their hands off. But then again, I always say people are spending $200 on this new PlayStation 4 controller, elite controller, whatever you want to call it, or $150 on a Xbox One Elite 2 or Elite 1 controller and a keyboard and mouse. You can get a decent one, really decent one for like 105 bucks. And the mouse, you can get a mouse for like 30 bucks. That's a pretty damn good mouse. Um, <clears throat> Corsair, you can do any brand you want. Um, Razer makes some good ones too. I have a black web here and um, a Roswell. I mean, it does fine for me. Um, the point I'm getting at though is when I see this, all I see is advertising. I don't really see a real study. I see 1,400 people out of... Uh, Billions of uh, millions, I should say millions, because I don't know if they're in the billions, but millions of people game almost every single day. There's millions of people out there making money on keyboards, making money on controllers, making money just playing games. For them to take 1,400 people, like I said, is like Xbox not putting up their numbers on console sales, but they tell you how many people are actually playing in the game. Or like... State of Decay. We have over 3 million active users. I played the game. Do I count as an active user? But I played it 9 months ago. Do I count as an active user? And if I do, then that's that's hogwash. That's that's rubbish shit. Um, and, and that's where I see LG and Activision. This ain't attack on Xbox, guys. I'm just saying Activision is not a trustworthy company in my opinion. They're not. They just tried to sell a red dot for a dollar. A red dot, dude. A red dot. Remember when Call of Duties were popular? And I'm not talking Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 because that's when mainstream got it real popular. I'm talking like the Call of Duty 1, 2, um, back on PC. That's where, that's where it actually started. It never started on console. And, and it was fun. And you could earn stuff. Even in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 or Modern Warfare 2, you didn't have to buy. You would just unlock them from... You know, progressing in the game, killing, doing whatever you have to do in the game. Shooting people, getting headshots, whatever. So when I see this, I see a bunch of just marketing and promoting. Activision's promoting their game through LG. And LG's promoting um, console gamers to go buy their big-ass TVs. Because they know that monitors out there are way better. But if they want to sell TVs, it's good business to say, Hey, Xbox and PlayStation sold more. They sold more. The reason... The re the, they did better actually than than the play than the PCs. That's what I see them saying is because they're trying to sell their TVs. Because most console gamers play on a big TV. They want that 4K. They want that that great graphic immersiveness. That's why when I hear all these other Xbox propaganda channels or even PS4 propaganda channels, and they're talking about oh this game looks beautiful, or this game looks looks crazy good. It's not about how it looks. Celeste was a great game in it, and it don't look like anything like Red Dead Redemption Two. It's not about how the game looks, okay, fanboys and propaganda channels out there that hopefully will watch this. It's not about that. If it was, you, you guys are still delusional because you would just go get a PC. Like, you're arguing apples to apples with the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox. And I don't think they brought the Switch because some people played on docked possibly and there is a big time difference in latency and delay because it probably couldn't run their 4K because I don't think it does 4K, obviously. I think when it's docked, it's like 1080p maybe. I don't know. Um, and that's not a shot at Nintendo. I'm just saying I think that's why they possibly left them out because of the un uh, the portability and when it's being docked, it don't run 4K like the PS4 Pro upscale or the uh, Xbox One X can do. So when I see this, it's like thinking to myself, well, were they playing with 4K HDR graphics? Because, I mean, most PC players play on 1080p. Were they playing at slower frame rates that will sl slower frame rates that will benefit the console gamers? Because most PC players play it on a lot faster. Have you ever, and I want to end with this, guys, and I want you guys to leave me comments down below and let me know what you guys think personally. But I'm going to leave you guys with this to think about. Have you ever played Destiny? Or any other game that's 30 frames competitively. Oh, it's got to be competitively online, not not like single player. And then jump to a game that's 60 frames and you're like, whoa, it's a lot different. And then after you jump to that 60 frame game, jump back to that 30 frame uh, game. And you realize how shitty and slow it is. 
Imagine being a PC player that is no less than 144 frames normally, going to a 65-inch TV when they go from a 24-inch monitor to a you know one millisecond response time to a five to seven second millisecond or five to seven millisecond response time. Excuse me. And they're sitting there playing at 60 frames or 30 frames. Imagine that with a mouse. No wonder they were quicker there, but their accuracy was off. I mean, that's what I see. But I want to know what you guys think about all this. I want to know what you guys think about this stupid LG. Come on, man. You don't want to hurt your company. And and I'm not saying it will, but I'm, there's a lot of people out there that know that's full of shit. I mean, if you would have done a million people, which is hard to do, do it would have been maybe a little bit differently to believe or, or to hear, but it's been debunked. It's been proven. Keyboard and mouse is way quicker, way more accurate than anybody. That's why everybody that eventually gets older, and I shouldn't even say older. There are young kids out there buying PCs now over consoles, believe it or not. They, you just don't hear about them a lot of times. But there's a lot of people out there that are going to PC every day, or every year. There are people that make the jump from console to PC because they're not held down by anything. They're not held down by Nintendo paying $20 to play online and then get NES games trickled at them. Um, they can just play any of them games anyway on their PC. They're not uh, held down from Xbox uh, games live. Well, here's, the, here's the other thing, guys. All that stuff, you can play all them Xbox games, guys. You don't need live to play them on a PC. You have to pay for the live on your Xbox, but on PC, you don't have to play, pay for the uh, subscription. But if, if Nobody knew that. Um, PS4 is the same thing. The only thing PS4 goes is that they lock a lot of their exclusives, so most people buy PC and PlayStation, and then if they want to get the Switch for portability, that's fine. But, but for the most part, people are jumping to PC because they can, they're free to do whatever they want. Okay, they can run, they can do and play whatever they want. They don't have to sit back and go, I've been waiting for the Nintendo 64 Classic to be released, or the Nintendo GameCube to finally release their games. They can play all them. They're not sitting back caring what's going on right now. Okay, they're not caring about half the stuff that most people talk about. And the reason why I talk about this video is the reason why I say, you know, PC gamers are, uh, a long time ago I said are true gamers. What I'm meaning is, if you're a true gamer, why in your right mind would you support a company if you don't have a PC? I get it. You just want to game casually. But why would you back them saying, oh, it's okay to uh, not crossplay then? Or it's okay to um, charge me a fee just to play online that I already bought your console at $400. I bought the game for $60. And now I have to pay you guys at least $60 for a whole year to play the game online. That's where I say, like, if you want the best product for your price... PC at, at first will cost a lot more. In the long run, it'll cost you a lot less. You will get games free on Steam, Epic. You get a lot of that stuff for free. That is a fact. That's not me just speaking bullshit. You can download any emulator and get all the ROMs you want. I'm not saying go do it. I'm just saying that you can. And that's a fact. You don't have to hook it up 14 different cables like your favorite YouTuber does. You can buy one Elgato capture card, whether it be the one that you set up in your PC, the one you hook up just to a game console or your monitor or whatever, and you can run it all through there. You can hook up, you can hook up the Switch controller, the PlayStation 4 controller, the Xbox One controller, keyboard and mouse, 8-bit dough, any controller. You can hook up to your PC, whatever you want to play with. Okay, your monitors, your monitors are going to be more responsive refresh wise. If you play games on PC, you can play faster than 60 frames and have fun and really dominate people. I'm not saying you always will. I'm just saying if you're talking, if when these propaganda channels come out and I'm just going to shut up now because I said I was going to leave it with that, but I really want you guys to leave it with that 30 frames to 60 frames. I'm for real. And then go back to 30 frames. You're going to realize the big difference. And then imagine 60 frames to 144 frames or 240 frames. Okay. That's what I'm saying. There's a big difference in jump. I'm, I'm serious. It's, it's night and day, dude. Anyway, but when you hear all these propaganda channels, these, these fanboys that are defending something that I don't care about defending. And they talk about how everything's so great. Or we want the best. Oh, Xbox got better graphics and true 4K or, than the PS4. PS4 just upscales. Everybody knows that 
And what I'm trying to say is I don't want to sound like a dick when I say this. I'm trying to be truthful, which I am. And the truth fucking hurts. PC gamers have the best way to play any game imaginable. Fact. All your games on Nintendo 64 that you see, the remakes of Mario World 64, or excuse me, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Mario World, and all that other shit that you've seen from other YouTubers, because I know you've seen them. That was all done on an Unreal Engine on a PC. Fact. More people game on PC per day. And all I'm saying is when I see these channels, and I laugh at them a lot, compare who's got the most exclusives, or the exclusives ain't coming to PC, or, or this, oh, great news, Xbox is winning, and, and all this. I laugh. Because I'll, de I'll destroy you in four seconds. Actually, it'll take me a little bit longer, and then I'm going to end the video. Because I want you guys to get out of here with a good laugh and a good chuckle and knowing that you're coming to the right channel. For all the propaganda channels you see out there with Xbox, the only thing they're winning at, the only thing they're winning at is pissing their customers off. I mean, that's a fact. The reason why they have replayability, backwards compatibility, and all that other bullshit is because they got shit on 2013. That's a fact. The other thing they realize is they're a software company, and they deal with a lot of Windows and other shit like that, right? Okay, they realize that a lot of people play their games, and Xbox Game Pass and all that other shit on PC. So why would they want to lock their games down to a console when they're only selling that console to 30-some million people? When they can open up that game and sell it to millions of people? They're trying to be not anti-consumer, which I applaud Xbox for. I'm not giving the propaganda channels. They're like, why would you give away all these games? Because they run better, play better, and more people want to play them on PC. I'm going to jump to Sony now. Everybody that says, oh, well, these exclusives ain't coming to PlayStation. They, you want to play them, you should get a PS4. I get it. That's how business works. But for when they say, oh, it'll never come, or why oh, we don't want them port beggars or whatever. Dude, you don't want that game to be uh, passed around on the PC market. More eyes will see it. More people will see the new developers and, uh, and appreciate them. And their game will get out to more people. Therefore, they'll get funded more money to more money to make better games in the long run. That is a fact. And if you don't believe me, Grand Theft Auto V did great on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, correct? And PS4 and the Xbox One. It does 10 times better than all four of them together on PC. Fact. They make more money, more people can do all kinds of things, mod them, do all kinds of things in there to make the game last. So when everybody's sitting back going, I want a remaster, I want a remake of this game, and I want this, just note they're using a PC engine. They're using PC software hardware. They're using high-powered graphic cards, Unreal Engine, to make a lot of these games. And I'm not saying everybody's knowledgeable and knows how to make the games. What I'm saying is if you are wanting to really be proved right, go get a PC and play a same game you'd play on console and use a mouse and keyboard and see how easy it is to slap people that are using uh, controllers. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Took too much long time. Like I said, go to play a game that's 30 frames a second. If you don't know the games that are 30 frames a second and you guys have a PC or in a console, play Destiny 2. Uh, on your console then play destiny 2 on your PC and I know if you guys don't have it That's fine or if you guys do have certain games play a game play call of duty Um, if you have it and that's 60 frames and then go play destiny or destiny 2 That's all I can give you the information on that part and you'll see night and day difference Okay, but you have to play the 60 frames and then play the 30 frames or you can do 30 60 then 30 But anyway guys, I want to know what you guys think. I'm sorry. The video took so long um, I had to be serious for a little bit I had to crack some jokes at the first but I want to let everybody know that dude stay away from them channels All they're doing is corrupting and just trying to get a bunch of views for nothing Okay, all it is is feeding into your bias and if you guys want to hear unbiased shit and uh, here's some actual real truth on why these consoles are doing this and why they're not come to my channel hit the subscribe button make sure you guys hit uh, the like share and get this video out there guys make sure people see the truth because that's what's going to make gaming better that's what's going to make these developers care not sick you know kissing their ass and saying they never do nothing wrong what's doing right is being cri critical critiquing and standing up and making these videos so that they do change I love you. Do a good deed. Stay safe. Game Over 86 is always out, baby, because I love every single one of you bringing truth, knowledge, wisdom, and honest. 
opinions, and facts. Stay safe, baby. I love you. Peace.